Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Home Flow Yoga. Today, we'll be doing some desk stretches to energize the body and reduce any pain if there is any that exists. So let's begin by interlocking the fingers and basically seesawing the wrist. This is a very gentle stretch for the wrist. So be mindful to not put too much tension on them, but just enough to where you feel a light stretch. This is a great stretch for preventing arthritis and or carpal tunnel, which can happen from keeping your wrist or your hands or your forearms in one position for a long period of time. Continue in this manner of seesawing the wrist. Next, we'll stretch the spine. So sit up tall, inhale, and bring the arms up towards the sky. Interlock the fingers and flip the palm so that they're facing the ceiling. Be sure that you're stretching up while at the same time relaxing the shoulders. You can do this by rolling the shoulders back and down away from the ears. This is a great stretch for the shoulders and the spine. Bring the arms down and let's stretch the spine again, beginning with the right side. So inhale, lift the right arm up and reach it over to the left. The gaze can be up towards the fingertips or wherever feels good and comfortable for your neck. Right now we are stretching the right side of the body while compressing the left side. Now let's go on to the left. Inhale and reach the left arm up, over, and the gaze can be up towards the fingertips and or wherever you find is comfortable. Continue breathing. Slow, deep, and steady. Next is seated cat cow. So come to a comfortable position with the spine upright. Bring the hands to the knees or wherever feels comfortable. Inhale and look up. Exhale, round the spine. Bring the chin down to the chest. Inhale, look up. And exhale, round the spine. Continue for a few more breaths. This is a great posture for also getting some energy flowing in the body and also creating some space and some movement into the spine. All right, come back to center in the same position. Make sure the spine is straight. Bring the right arm to the chair and the left arm to the chair. Twist and turn towards the right side of the body. First, the lower spine, twist in the middle spine, then the upper spine. Shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears and the gaze is over the right shoulder. Continue breathing. And come back to center. Let's go to the left side. Bring the left arm to the chair and the right arm to the chair. And you're basically using the chair to gently twist the body. You're not pulling and tugging, just using it for some leverage. Look over the left shoulder and breathe. Great job, everyone. All right, come back to center. Let's continue this. And be sure to like this video if you are enjoying these stretches. So come to the edge of your seat, bring the right ankle basically on the right thigh. So your feet are like in a figure four or your legs rather are in a figure four position. You can lean a little bit forward and keep the right hand on the knee just to add a little weight to stretch the hips. This is one of the best stretches to do if you sit at a desk because this stretch really gets into the hips. The hips tend to get tight because we sit so much and the muscles are no longer elongated. Let's go on to the left side, bring the left foot over the right knee, lean forward just slightly, bringing some weight to the left knee. Continue breathing deep, 
noticing where you feel this stretch in your body. And release the left leg. Bring the left foot down right next to the right. Come to the back of the chair and place both hands onto the chair. Slowly walk back until you're able to halfway lift or basically bend from the hips until the spine is absolutely straight. Keep a slight bend in the knees. At this point, we are also elongating the spine, getting some energy into the muscles of the body and the spine. Slowly walk the feet up and bring the right foot on to your chair. Bring the hands to the hips, slowly lean forward, keeping the knee stacked over the ankle. This stretch is also good for the hips and the back of the left calf muscle. Continue breathing calm and relaxed. You are doing a great job. Keep it going, keep breathing. All right, left side, bring the left foot onto the chair, hands on the hips or wherever feels comfortable, lean forward. And again, this is a good stretch for the hip, so you should feel it in the left hip and or in the back of the right calf muscle and or hamstring. Breathe steady in through the nose and out through the mouth. And release, bring the left foot back down to the right. All right, that concludes our desk stretch. I hope these were energizing for the body. Let me know what you think of these. Be sure to like, subscribe, and join me for the next video. Peace and light.